Some of us yeah, could go we'll fill the balloon or something. Andale. Andale. Yeah, son listos. I think your failure to to fly the MMU on it as well is a is a gap, but it's easily addressed the next time. Yeah. I just for the record, I'm just. I'll catch up in a couple minutes. Okay, got it. Okay. It, it takes uh, oh. the back of my car. Okay. Uh, we gotta. You're you're, you're grabbing the. I, I didn't grab the balloon. I'll join y'all right out front here. Okay. So the angel wing is differentiated by this complex. That complex hinge, you know, it rounds yeah. Ooh, and it has that weird kind of, yeah, so as opposed to like a regular bivalve, it has a, there's two little knobs that make it lock together. It has a really complicated hinge. But there's another, the false angel wing, which they may not have here. And then there's a slightly darker version of the false angel wing, they call it mm. turkey wing. Those are cool too. The univalve, the pen shells. Yeah, actually, I hadn't stopped and studied this. As you know, as a as a kid from the up and down the Rockies, this stuff is just amazing to me. I remember. You should have way more spikes on. As a little boy, that. just somebody having a conch shell and mm -hmm. being so struck by how amazing it was. I do. catch an orange balloon, they, they got bigger problems than us flying around. Uh, Alright, let's... I'm, I'm going to make a, uh, a big plea to use the uh, IMU. Well, I got it in my pocket if you want to take a minute and lace it on. All right. Uh, well, I didn't bring a rubber band. Lace this in the way you like there and make sure it doesn't screw up the trim on the crate. Everything's running here. The MMU is running and the... Uh, and the uh, GPS is running. I'd be happy sure. to. Well, you know, throw it in with the rubber bands. Uh, you want to try and put it right? And we'll adjust the Just we'll adjust the mounting points later. Okay. Throw it in. I would just keep it face out so you can see it. Just so you yeah. can. Well, okay. It doesn't make much difference. We're not. not We're not shooting the images with it. Whoa! Well, that goes. answers that question. We need to make a run for another. Wow. We got another right. tank. Good catch, huh? Chance that she gets two out of those. Two flights. Out two of flights. Is All right. A, a, uh, wait well, do we, you want me to run up and get the other balloon? This is a chloroplane. We, we blew up two of them last week. Really? Yeah, from those kits. That was the seventh and eighth time they were blown up. Damn. All right, well, uh, seventh inflation with this balloon here. Good but boom, know. and Jesse just said seventh and eighth inflation on her balloons, they exploded as well. Yeah. N equals three. N equals three, exactly. And what have you using here? This is a big uh, O-ring? That's the rubber O-ring that comes with the new version. The new version, kit. okay, because I had because trouble. Because it, it holds better here, and it holds fine with the mm -hmm. balloon. What okay. size O-ring is it? It's on the website. <laughs> Alright, so do you want me to run up and get uh, another kit balloon or okay. something? Do you want me to, or have you, did you bring down uh, another balloon? Yeah, you know what, Let's. we're going to open one of the kits. Uh, and bring it down. Okay, just okay. I'll, I'll run. Get it. It. Oh, Stuart, you got yeah, it. It's the kit that already that we pulled the reel out of already. Yep. Okay, so is that that thing's still running. Stop oh, capture. Yeah. So it's running, and it's got a. If you look at the interface there, it's a little awkward, but it's got a rate, and it, you can run it right now. It's running at one hertz, so it's taking a point every second. I think that's fast enough. But you can run it down to I think uh, ten hertz. And it it captures. All the location orientation and GPS information that the phone knows about, and then in the in the background, I've got a GPS tracker running that writes a track point every second. So we'll have those two to correlate along with all the rest of this other GPS tracker and the other stuff. So we should have lots of data on this if we're successful. All right. Take a picture of the clock display on all of the cameras. After everything's we can see so, whether if, so it. No, I understand what you mean. Yeah, like I do understand zero, what you mean. I'm not sure how to do it physically, but I understand what you mean. I've I've used that cool. technique myself. That's a good thing to you know, when I'm, I've flown someplace like to Belize, the cameras plan. aren't set properly, and that's the GPS knows what time it knows it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always good to have that offset. Yeah. What I have not seen is tools that exploit the 
yaw pitch roll orientation along with the GPS except for PICS 4D cloud-based processing thing which is a pay after you use your three free trials and it seems like it's kind of awkward to build like you have to geocode your photos and then you have to export them so you got all the XIF information and then you have to go through and manually post process and sync make sure you can either find by timestamp or by one of the other elements and write in this other yaw pitch roll stuff so it's an integrated set and then you'd have an input file along with your photos to have them do it and I, I have only messed with them a little bit but the impression I had is they were finding that the yaw pitch roll wasn't as crucial for them and so they weren't emphasizing it as much as long as you had good GPS information. Well, but it's but, there. But, it's there. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, stitching, it seems to me that, yeah, but, that it's really. But somebody's got to, you know, use it in their tool approach, right? I mean, yeah. it's, in, it's in the oh, door, Stuart. Yeah, and during the green weather, you guys don't have one. It's the summertime. But they would go in.